Yeah, please take it. So, hi all. This is, uh, I, I don't know him uh, actually. We were friends since long in LinkedIn. Uh, I don't actually know his real name. Today only I came to know that his real name is Gaurav Sharma. Otherwise, I assumed him to be Gorang, and all of us, uh, all of you might have seen him as Gorang. He has a big group. I have seen his group going up from 3,000 something to 3,100 something, and it will, it will soon be 3,500, then 30,000. That is what I think because of the value he provides in the group. So uh, together, along with you, let us hear from him his uh, journey, what he does, and how he influences people. So over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be part of this interview. Uh, let me tell the viewers about myself. Uh, my name is Gaurav Sharma and my pen name is Gorang. I write with the pen name Gorang. Okay. So the people know me with my pen name Gorang. I'm a personal development consultant speaker and author by profession and yeah. currently i live in thailand and oh. i uh, i am in southeast asia i travel in different countries like thailand cambodia uh, singapore malaysia all these countries and uh, uh, i also do volunteering works in different parts of southeast asia and I am residing here from past six months and have a plan to reside here for another couple of years. Okay. And uh, from January 2025, my books are going to be released on a consistent basis. Uh, okay. I am on a mission to write 80 books in five years with five magazines. That is going to be 16 publications in a year. Okay. And there would be 16 books in a year and one magazine, total of 17 publications, which are going to be 85 publications in five years. And uh, I'm also a teacher and used to teach small kids and young kids in different parts of Southeast Asia, different volunteer organizations and all these things. And currently I'm associated with a volunteer organization who is hiring my services and I'm here with past six months mm. and have a plan to here recite till 2026. Okay. So uh, after that uh, as uh, there is growth and development in the career I'm going to reside in Southeast Asia and visit different nations but that before that, I was serving in India from more than a decade. And after serving in India more than a decade, I decided to expand my services overseas. As a result, I am here in Southeast Asia. Wow. So uh, currently, I am working on my books, which are going to be released in from January, February, March. I also give chance to a person to be an author. Uh, I guide them. Okay. And also help them in publishing their books to fresh faces. I give the guidance. And I also give chance to persons to co-author with me. Recently, I have given chance to Bindu Singh from India. Her okay. book is going to be released in March 2025 with me. Okay. And another year, I'm going to give chance to a new face to become a co-author. And I recently launched... A new my series of books which are going to be published uh, every month of motivational quotes which are going to have uh, 600 quotations in it it's near about between uh, 80 to 100 pages book and there would be quarterly books uh, my first book would be first quarterly book would be a co-authoring book second would be on parenting tips then on married life tips and so on there would be so I have, uh, but uh, I am writing from more than a decade and I have written more than 100 books till date, but I have not published yet. The publishing plan is going to be from 2025 till 2030 mm. because uh, 
uh, I believe that if you really want to achieve success in life, it can only be achieved strategic because if you are going to work on your strategies and implement them timely, then you will definitely receive success inevitable. And this is the only reason that I'm able to publish so vast amount of books in five years because I have written 100 books. I'm going to publish 80 books in five years. And then after five years, another plan, which is going to be fulfilled. And uh, I always give chance to new talent, to new opportunities to associate with me, to also uh, take any kind of guidance, something like me. And recently, uh, I have uh, recently I posted for people to collaborate with me in terms of uh, publishing. Uh, my books on consistent basis as a sponsor and I have received many invitations from people all around the globe who are ready to uh, associate with me, collaborate, collaborate with me in different parts. Uh, so let's see, uh, currently meetings are going and let's hope for the best that it becomes a fruitful journey. So before we go, that is that is a great journey, sir. very impressive. So can I call you Gorang? If you yeah, yeah, everyone call me Gorang because they know me uh, they hardly know my real name, Gaurav Sharma, because I have highlighted the pen name and the word from the pen, Gorang. So you will be publishing all the books in the name of Gorang only? Yes, Gorang. It is my pen name. Okay, okay. Great, great. I write with the pen name and uh, I all my profiles are with the my pen name only. And uh, I have been recognized in different parts of the world through, as the name of Gorang. No one knows my original name. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How how you came up with that name also is a story. Uh, can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is very good question, and I was expecting yes. Uh, I came it with this name because uh, before uh, I started my journey as a personal development consultant and speaker. With the passage of time. I developed fear of writing and started writing books. And I analyzed that uh, all uh, great authors which have achieved wonders in their life have one, one thing in common, and that is their pen name. Yes. And if I have to do something big in life, I have to take my pen name. Yes. So this really helped me in searching a good name. And with the grace of Almighty, I reach to the conclusion that in upcoming period, uh, I'm going to write my books with a pen name Gorang. And if I'm going to get ever name and fame in the world, the world will know me with the name of Gorang. Yeah. So how come Gorang? Why it, uh, Why that name struck you? Uh, this name struck because uh, uh, I am a devotee of Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu, and when I analyzed their names, uh, it struck that Gorang seems perfectly good for me because my initials are not going to change too much because uh, in my real name, it's G-A-U-R-A-V, and in Gorang, it's G-A-U-R-A-N-G. By just changing the two letters of my initial name, my, the whole name changes. And when I dig deep into this name, I came to know that this is the name of Lord Ganesha, this is the name of Lord Vishnu, and this is also the name of Lord Shiva. Yeah. This is uh -huh. the name which highlights all the Thank divine you. powers in it, and it has immense uh, power to rise in upcoming period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Uh, so... How all this dream started, Gorang? Like, uh, how did you, you know, uh, decide to to be an author? And what is the story behind that? Uh, you you said you were a teacher. So, yeah. Yeah, that story. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, in 2006, I opened my institute, academic institute, and there I hired numerous teachers for soft skill training and I also gave myself the 
seminars to my students mm -hmm. and passage of time I used to visit in the nearby educational institutions of the country so and what was the what was the academic institute for academic institute was for soft skill training personality development personal okay, development okay okay oh. So uh, I started giving uh, my educational uh, information and uh, courses, short-term courses in terms of, terms of workshop in the nearby area of India. Mm -hmm. And I used to speak on personal development topics like anger management, time management, stress management, communication skills, leadership development, and so on. Mm -hmm. So with passage of time, when I have given numerous lectures, mm -hmm. then uh, it struck in my mind that why not to write books on these topics? Yes. And okay. then I just started writing books on anger, stress, communication, concentration. And with the passage of time, the area expanded. I totally included the area of personal development and here I want to let you know one thing that I am not a self-help author. I am a personal development author because there is a huge difference between self-help book and personal development books. 90% uh, of authors who are in this field are self-help authors if they go for it. But mm -hmm. I am not self-help author. I am a personal development author mm -hmm. and my books helps an individual to develop personally. For example, there is a very uh, thin line between self-help and personal development. Here I want to like to tell this to my viewers. Mm -hmm. A self-help will teach you how to get rid of an addiction. Mm -hmm. For example, watching a mobile, quit smoking or drinking. Mm -hmm. But a personal development book will never let you get any addiction. Yeah. This is the difference. Huh. So yes. you don't get any addiction, so you don't need any self-help. Yes. A so personal, place, yeah, yeah. Yes. A personal who is going to read personal development books will never ever read self-help books because he will never get any kind of addiction or bad habits in which he or she needs the self-help to get out of it. Yes, yes. Yeah, obviously. So yeah. personal development is a vast area. Self-help is only a part of it. Yeah, yeah. So how so do you think the... uh, uh, today's youth? Because I think that is your target group. Youth is the your target group. Yes. Yeah. Uh, youth. Uh, although I provide self help to all the individuals, mm. uh, but my main target is youth, teenagers, mm. Mm. and uh, the parents. Okay. who have teenagers because I believe that if the youth of any nation mm -hmm. would develop personally, the mm -hmm. nation will grow automatically. Yes. Of course. You... Because they are flexible, they live in this era, they know how to use technologies, so it would be very easy for them mm -hmm. to educate and get education and it would really help them to move in different areas of their life successfully. Yes. And and also because they are in need of guidance, and yes. uh, uh, there are not many people who can really help them, guide them in, in into a real direction, understanding their problem and the situation that they face right now. Because it is very different from uh, from other generations, you know. Today's youth is a yeah. is in a very 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 different kind of situation where. Where you cannot, uh, uh, no, you cannot avoid certain things in life, and they uh, getting into that, and then they are losing direction. So they need uh, guidance too much. Yes. So yes. you are right, and you are doing a great thing in that way, because they are, they are, they have no, nowhere to go otherwise. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, and so here I got a thing in the mind which struck, and it's. Uh, becomes my moral responsibility to tell this. Uh, uh, my formal education is MA Psychology. Oh. So Great. when I had an interview in Europe, they said that 
we haven't found any person who is a psychologist and personal development consultant and speaker because it's very rare combination to yes. have some psychology with associated with books and all those things so yes. i said thank you very much because he said he said that it's a very powerful combination of a person with a uh, psychology i have done my psychology in clinic clinical psychology wow wow so That's clinical psychology side of it yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> with psychology with a book so i have written in upcoming period there are many books which are going to be related with child psychology human psychology uh, psycholo psychology of parents these are going to be released in upcoming period with the passage of time yeah yeah great great people will be greatly benefited by that i'm pretty sure so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us stories about your uh, life you know you must have uh, helped so many people which have become the material of your books i think so uh, can you tell us very interesting stories if you remember of a youth who is into today's circumstances and how you have helped him more yeah yeah uh, uh, a story i have reminded uh, in year 2012 mm. i there was a girl mm. named aditi mm. uh, in my institute mm. and she was having phobia of examination oh. and phobia she was having fear of public speaking okay dealing with friends and as a result she was not having too much friends and she was not able to concentrate on her studies and get good marks mm -hmm. but uh, with passage of time when the teachers i have hired in the institute they told me that this girl is not performing well as compared to other children, I dig deep into it and I came to know about the inside fears. She mm -hmm. always lived in unset fear. Mm -hmm. She never uh, communicate with others openly. She never express her emotions freely, not mm -hmm. even with parents. So mm -hmm. this was the thing that when I recognized, I took a, a session with him, multiple sessions for mm -hmm. three weeks. And I gave her a test, mm. short-term test and all those things to know what the detail of her is all about. Mm. And with passage of time, I came to know that uh, due to va taking various psychometric tests, I came to know that she was in depression. And as the result of it, she was not able to concentrate on her studies, not able to express herself. Uh, I just call her parents and tell her the root, tell them the root cause that she is not able to do all these things and perform consistently in spite of all the efforts because she is dealing with a major problem which uh, is not able to get her what she deserves. Then to my big surprise, the parents told me that, yes, you have analyzed and, and we have never told this thing. Actually, uh, she was the victim of childhood abuse. Mm -hmm. So it would be grateful if you could get her out of all these things and help her live a normal life. Mm -hmm. So just... Uh, said them that I'm going to try my best and with the passage of time in six months I totally changed the girl and now she is a software engineer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he is a confident software engineer and works in Bangalore. Great, great. Wow, that's that's great news. So yeah. many of our viewers they can actually take your help if Nobody knows actually when they are past, they are having some kind of fear, uh, psychology, yes. and they cannot come out of that on their own. It is it is so very prevalent. Everybody, uh, uh, all of us have a little bit of some kind of fear. But when the fear overpowers us, we can do nothing about it. So I think you are doing a great service uh, in 
bringing them, bringing all of us, maybe, out of that with your help. Yeah, so any other story, please? <laughs> This was the story close to my head and I remembered because she has achieved a tremendous success in life and now she is happily married and have kids and she is well settled in life and whenever she comes in India, she always call me and thank me that yes sir, you have really transformed my life. And one more story I, I would like to tell uh, the girl uh, Bindu Singh which I have whom I have given a chance to be a co-author. She is also associated with me for a long period. And when and she is a teacher by profession. And when I I gave an opportunity to many students to be a co-author, but uh, no one had that courage to accept that because they were having fear, not of failure, fear of success. Fear of success is also there in persons because yeah. if they think that we are going to get huge name and fame in upcoming period by having our books launched in more than 100 nations. Mm -hmm. So no one gets ready to be a co-author. Why, why, why is that? Fear, due, due to fear of success, people have fear of success. Like fear of failure, people also dwell fear of success. Okay, so what do you think? Why that is so? Because all of us, I think, have, uh, have dreams about uh, achieving name and fame, I think. And why they are afraid of success then? I am going to tell there is very simple psychology. Having a dream, having a faith that yes, I want this. But when the time comes of you are able to gain such kind of thing, mm -hmm. your mind reciprocates. You don't able to handle that success. You say, no, I have never expected such kind of success in my life. I was only thinking that only this recognition, but... I have got far more recognition than I have expected. So mm -hmm. in upcoming period, I would never ever go for such kind of success because I am not able to handle the success. This fear comes when you actually attain the success. Oh, okay. So you actually attain the success, then you know it consequences that, oh my God, that this can be the outcome of success. I have never thought it. That, then develop the fear of success and you never go again in that journey. Oh, so what do you think is the fear of success? Why? What is the reason? And what what are the outcomes that they are afraid of? Such people. Uh, fear of success developed due to lack of knowledge, lack of information, lack of confidence in self, lack of self-analysis, lack of recognition of self. And when we develop lack of all those things, mm -hmm. We develop fear of success. Honestly, you get an opportunity to become a successful. Mm -hmm. But have you asked yourself that what level of success I can handle in my life and what I am level of success I am ready? Mm -hmm. Am I ready to earn name of fame, name and fame far beyond my expectations? If yes, you should go for it. If no, then after ending success, you will not able to handle it. Okay. This is fear of success. And fear of success mostly happens to those people who never try new things, who are afraid of trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They, they are, they are, yes, they are afraid of trying due to fear of failures. After repeating, uh, getting multiple failures, you develop fear of failure. But when you get success in one stroke, you develop fear of success if you are not uh, men if you are not going to develop mental toughness. Yes, yes, that is the point. If you don't yes. have mental toughness, then obviously the emotional uh, roller coaster that you have to ride, you may not be prepared for that. I I totally yes. get it. So, uh, yes. Gorang, if suppose because this uh, makes me very curious about. Uh, collaborating with you uh, and to experiment as to what happens when we get success, right? So how do you, like, what is the qualifying process that you adopt uh, if somebody expresses a, an intent, intention to work with you? Okay, if someone uh, wants to work with me, uh, then uh, he, he or she should be not have fear of success 
and fear of failure okay. he or she should be confident enough uh, should be mature enough to understand each and every level or process through which we can go and should always have a particular goal in his or her life and be able to achieve able to get ready for such kind of achievements in upcoming period that he or she is able to get it okay. so uh, these are the qualifying things and rest with the cross questioning and meetings and guidance and if you are going to follow uh, the thing and number one i want that uh, a person who is going to be associated with me should have only three qualities number one he or she should have calmness and patience in character because mm-hmm. success takes time yeah number number two he or she should never back out when it's time to achieve success mm-hmm. every time it happens because when you are associated you said okay if you are going to but in reality when you go you are going to get success uh majority more than uh, 80% start backing out mm-hmm. because uh, this was they have thought that uh, we have never achieved such kind of uh, this is the case of a recent co-author also i came to uh, see when i just uh, said the girl bindu singh that you have to co-author and when the book is going to be released or something if i am going to promote the book can you come to singapore or in south east asia and all those things for book promotion and free then she said no 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 i can't handle all those things but yes i have desire to be a co-author but uh, i'm not ready uh, for all these things that i have to come in south east asia for a book promotion book release i can go in different parts of country to promote my books and i can travel multiple countries i can never do this so she said no to me that i am not ready for all those things all i want is that uh, there should be a, a name in my book and all those things and uh, she was saying that uh, uh, what are the things that uh, we can include in our book so i said that these are the things that are going to be included so she said that uh, so can you really explain in detail all those things and explain her all the details mm-hmm. and when i said that there is going to be uh, you have to come in book book promotions and all those things then she said i am not ready mentally ready for it okay. and she actually she is curious but she is not ready to attain desired success okay no no but uh, uh, she has to travel physically to all those places right yeah okay okay so then, that also it requires a lot of expen- expenditure na goran this okay. requires but i am going to sponsor her for all those trips okay still she is not able to come uh, then then also she was saying that uh, it was it would become very difficult because when you are going to have book promotion if you are there going to be two authors then uh uh the interviewers all those things want both the authors of the book so that they can this is the reality but when they are going to be then uh, when i came to know about this problem and all these things i just took out the simple solution uh, we are going to have video meeting of her at yeah. the book release yeah yeah so that will be easier so, for people to have yeah them. that would be because i took out a solution that if your book is going to be released by me and with me and if it's going to be marketed in different parts of world if i'm going to have uh, interviews from singapore or australia america all those things we can not reject those interviews because it will give a negative impression what we can do we can be simultaneously in a video meeting so it can be promoted in all those things and because i can go physically also but if the co-author is not going to be it will not make sense yes 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 this is the reality yeah, so yeah. This, this is a very good uh, solution that you have come up with yeah we took out the solution and now she is ready because the book is going to when the book is going to be released i am going to be in southeast asia the book would be released in different parts of world i am going to get copies in southeast asia by publishers 
and when it's going to be a book signing by author and all those things then i would uh, invite her to attend a video meeting at the time of press conference or book release she would be ready she said i am ready but here is also a catch because uh, she is getting married i think in march only when the book is going to come out then i have to before releasing i have to just check the dates and all this and because honestly uh, a newly married would not able to get such kind of uh, chances and all those things because i have uh, said her many times that if uh, suppose your book is going to be released does your in laws future in laws have any problem or something if you are going to uh, attain a greater name on fame than your husband in few months or something like that would that be okay it would not disturb the newly married so she was uh, said that i would answer it after some time after having word with them so i said okay you can take your time oh. and because in reality these are practical things mm-hmm. because when it's going to come out it's going to be a big release and you, if you are going to become a overnight star in 10 or 15 days and you are newly married you don't know how your in-laws will react mm-hmm. so she is saying that sir currently march is okay but still i will let you know that we can postpone our date to june or something because if my marriage is going to be fixed in march i also need couple of months two three months to get settled there i said okay we can do that because there are 16 publications so it hardly matters whether the quarter book is going to be released in march or in june but it would be released in 2025 and yeah. i uh, take only one quarter in a year okay okay great so next uh, next year maybe i would apply for co-authorship with you <laughs> yeah it would be an honor definitely definitely so why because, uh, uh, gorang it is because uh, because i am a coach so i have i write a lot and before i was a coach also since childhood i write a lot but i uh, i never thought of publishing a book because uh, my okay. idea is that people read uh, do not read that much nowadays maybe they watch youtube's videos or something like that or small uh, booklets ebook kind of thing so um, that was my idea so maybe i will explore with you and uh, may, maybe also we can work together with something so yes definitely it. definitely it would be an author it would be an honor uh, my books are of 120 pages maximum not more than that yeah i only exactly. write short books near about uh, between uh, 20000 words to 25000 words and the pages of books are between 80 to 120 or sometimes 140 a short book so that a reader can read it i never write a long book instead of writing a 300 page book i would uh, part it in three volumes of 100 pages book three books yeah 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 that is a great idea and that is a great uh, insight for upcoming authors who and also the coaches no they all need uh, to publish some kind of book uh, to to establish their authority on the subject some kind of thing so many coaches are looking for it so i am definitely sure many will be approaching you after this uh, interview and uh, and uh, you don't publicize about what you are doing in the group itself so why don't you do that <laughs> in in a group uh, that what uh, are the future plans and all those things uh, yeah. i have hired a team uh, a team works for me of publishing they uh, do a to z publishing for me and january they are going to launch a youtube channel of my uh, which is going to represent all my quotations and all those things which i have written so far so i have hired a team for me that works for me i only focus on writing yeah 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 no 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 i am saying this group of yours from where yeah. i came to know you that group okay. doesn't say anything about what you do it it has great uh, things of value and that is why i am in the, in that group and uh, so it must be giving me a lot of values and you also like some of my posts 
uh, before anybody likes it. And uh, that is why I see this person is reading actually whatever I am posting. So that is how I got uh, interested, curious about you. Not many people do that. And so uh, that is how you know, I asked you whether you would give an interview or not. So in yeah. that group, it is not explicitly written about what you do. And no post of yours gives this idea that you are an author and you are going to author so many things. And also you give a uh, chance to other upcoming authors to work with you. All these things are not there. It, it is just, just that because I interviewed you, that I have come to know. So uh, also you can ask your team to please post yeah, something. Definitely. That, yeah. Def yeah, definitely I'll say them. But in reality, uh, uh, I never felt need of all those things because through word of mouth and through my team, when I say that I need all those things, I get plenty of options. Yeah. And suppose if I have to say that I am booked for a co-author one, one in a year and three are already lined up, then I am going to be busy till 2029. Then yeah. there is no use of writing all those things because I cannot help before 2029. For five years I am booked. Yeah, yeah. So these are the things because the team does all those works, and whenever I say that I need this thing, I, because no one knows that I introduced co author, but still I have two, three co authors lined up from different parts of the world. One is going to be released in March. So there is no use of advertisement because I cannot fulfill my promises. Because if they just want to be here, I said, sorry, I'm booked for 2030. You would say that why he has written so that he's already booked for five years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that is the idea. So this the, is the reason. This is the reason. So because, another, uh, an, yeah, another question, Goran, as to how you landed up in Thailand from India. So which is the organization or who are the people who invite such kind of people uh, uh, to train them or teach them? That is what you do, Jose? Uh, I Currently, I am in a volunteer organization. Hmm in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, its branches in more than two countries. They have in Thailand, they have in Cambodia, they are in Laos, mm -hmm. and they teach uh, high school students English. They okay. teach kindergarten students English. They teach monks. They teach uh, uh, local people. So mm -hmm. they have, it's an NGO that has been established. Mm -hmm. And uh, I gave my services to this NGO mm -hmm. and I have made a contract with them for a year. And mm -hmm. after that, after serving in one nation, I'll go to another nation, then in another nation and all those things. And here I get a lot of opportunity to help people, to let them know about what they truly deserve. Uh, I teach them uh, life skills, my programs. I teach them... Uh, I aware them about the books. I teach kindergarten kids the basic English level that the country is lacking. So it's a kind of uh, the NGO is doing very good. It's a humanity work, volunteering work that I am doing. So and they here do not pay you. That is what you are saying. They you you don't get paid out there. Uh, they pay me. Okay. Okay. They pay me for all these things and here I get a lot of opportunity to complete my books because the place is very peaceful and calm. I get a lot of time and the work is not as in India because in abroad you have to teach only four hours in a day as compared to in India. Yeah, okay. And only after one hour you get two hours break. If the... Uh, timings of a school of organization is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., then you have to take only four classes of one hour. I suppose you took from 9 to 10, then for two hours you are going to be off, then from 1 to 2 and such, such thing. It can be sometimes three classes or maximum four. Four classes are maximum. Minimum are two classes. So oh. it's the whole day volunteering or something and I usually took the morning session so that after that I can completely 
uh, be free. That is, that's why when you said that it's going to be 3 p.m., I just calculated it said, okay, it's going to be 4.30 p.m. here and I would be free because actually there still classes are going, but today I took my classes in the morning itself. Okay, okay. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you about that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So any, any more goals that you uh, would like to uh, reveal now on? Like, uh, yeah. uh, yes, I have plans in upcoming period. Uh, I have a plan of writing uh, near about a uh, thousand books in my lifetime. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, uh, 16 publications in a year is a uh, starting. Hmm. And after that, it's going to be 20 publications in a year, then 24 publications in a year means one publication after 15 days. Oh. So this, this is a plan that is going to be in upcoming 10 years. For first five years, it's going to be 16 publications. And after, apart from writing all these books, I have a plan of opening NGOs in different parts of the world. I have a plan of opening educational institutions, uh, organ donation institutes and all those things. It's a huge list that I have a plan. But right. after establishing myself as an author, these are the plans that I'm going to uh, do in near about after from 2000. Uh, after 10 years, you can say. Okay, okay. That's great. That's great. This is a list that starts your journey as an author and with the passage of time, when you are going to earn deserving name and fame, then you can go in various fields. And yeah. I'm, this is the only reason that I am volunteering in organizations in abroad so that I can know how these organizations actually work. So that in upcoming period, if I want to open my organizations, these will these organizations will support me to opening another organization and they will really help me in, to know the cultures about the different nations how these actually work for doing this you have to be practical there yeah, yeah. so count me in in all those uh, endeavors Gorang, if we can work yeah, together yeah. because i have i have 30 plus years of experience in livelihoods um, yes. You know, in remote areas, in 16 states, I have uh, worked and I do write all the time. So uh, maybe we can work together in future. And thank you for giving your precious time. And uh, we will talk uh, definitely in future also, unveiling all this. Yes, uh, I am sure many of your viewers also will, uh, they don't know about you as much as you have revealed today. Thank you so much for this uh, interview. Thank you so much. Thank that you. It's an honor. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.